is, is, is someone who will be lost <laughs> when people stop coming. Silver. Okay, so just to, just what is the best the, like you have taken for this? Ball. Like and, if you say magic. In T20 so cricket with you... these white balls, the, the ball doesn't swing for long at all. So there is a window of maybe two on a good day, three overs. In perspective, you take advantage of that window and use it as a weapon because movement is one of the great, I suppose, bits of ammunition you have against your opponent in really what is a favoured game for batsmen. So you've got your chance to, you know, pick up a wicket in those first couple of overs when the ball is moving. So it's important he gets it online early. It'll fly away for four. Just a little bit of width on offer there from Parnell. No slip. I'm just wondering whether if there was a slip there, it may have gone to hand. I think if uh, you are looking for wickets, it's always advisable to have someone catching. That may have gone over slip or possibly wide if you did have a first slip in place. Yeah, the ball was too wide anyway, wasn't it? He still edged it, though. Yeah. Now, this is uh, wayward stuff from Parnell. That's two down the leg side, one wide. It's a bit of a Guardian group living easy moment there, I suppose. He's living easy. He certainly is. Yeah, man. Well, when it's that hot, you just stay in the shade. Leg side again. Uh, this is not good from Wayne Parnell. There's three down the leg side, two have been wide, and this one has been just glanced for four. Glanced for four. Yeah, I suppose what's more disappointing from the captain's point of view is the inconsistency of his line, so it's impossible to set a field. You've got to ideally have your fine leg back, uh, sorry, up with your square leg back in this format of the game, and particularly on a slower wicket. But uh, when you're swinging it down the leg side like this, it makes setting the field difficult. I think he's listening to the commentary, uh, Moods, so or have we put him... <laughs> We put him like that. He is listening to the commentary because he's getting he's getting that much information he doesn't have to watch. So ah, he's moods. all on, over it. On the on the ball. <laughs> That's what my back feels like. <laughs> Oh, it's got some rhythm there. He's got some rhythm. Do those legs belong to him? That's. I think that's some. I think that's some behind him. <laughs> that's a double act. It's not one person. I think you might be right. Leg side again. It's another wide. This is uh, a never-ending over for Parnell. Well, it is a shame because Parnell batted so well. He got a valuable 25, and you would think his confidence would be up and feeling good about life. And to come out and start their innings with uh, such a poor over, it's nearly like he's taken away that positive momentum that he had with the bat and given it back to the Talawas. Well, this time wide of off stump. That's a horrid start for Parnell. He's conceded 15 runs, 15 for no wicket from one. You can find us in every corner of the world. Watching, listening, analyzing. We are everywhere. And we see everything.
we are members of the world's favourite online sports betting company, and we gamble responsibly at Bet365. Well, throughout the CPL T20, we've got the Dream 11, the fantasy scorecard, Imad Wasim, in this match. After the first innings for his two for 16, he's got 24 points. You get points for wickets, for runs, catches, runouts. You get you, know, you get uh, rewarded for your efforts. More details, log on to dream11.com forward slash points. Keswick Williams bowled pretty well. Santoki might have had a few more points if he'd held on. Might have had a few more points if he'd held on to a court and bowled. Gone! Simple catch, Rampal celebrates, and Sangakara is on the walk back. He's gone for a first ball duck. Well, that's a big wicket. We all know the quality of this man. He's a, a wonderful player, and he would have been setting his sights to bat the innings out, but he has to depart for a golden one. It's 15 for one. Live sport. You can watch it and you can get involved in it with the latest Coral Action. We're paying a massive 10 places on the US PGA Championship. Yeah, that's right. 10 places. Coral. Jump in. Available from App Store and now Google Play when the fun stops. Stop. Andre McCarthy comes in at three. Well, that record is something that he needs to improve. It's uh, early days. He's got a whole season ahead. But uh, good catch this, Kane Williamson. It's a specialist area he feels there in the gullies. Not going to drop many of those. Ravi Rampal. It's gone through. McCarthy. Dwayne Smith is the fielder, and McCarthy's off the mark straight away. Yeah, disappointing after a wicket. The slice to drive from Kumar Sangakara, just leaning back on that drive ever so slightly, therefore lifting the ball in the air, and then the very next ball where you've taken the pressure back off your opponent you just give it back with a freebie here's Paul Nixon a former Leicestershire player and an England player he's coached the Talawas now for a few seasons successful coach last year of course because Talawas walked away with the title last year and Mark McDonnell is his assistant coach there from New Zealand. They're a good team. They work it well. You always see catchers writing a few notes here and there. Whatever they're doing, noughts and crosses, or they're writing some serious notes down. I'd like to see your notebook uh, there, Tom. I don't you? sit there with a notebook. No, I, have, no. I have a notebook here because I... Um, amongst some esteemed commentary commentary uh, colleagues so I've got to keep pace got to keep on top of things just some very uh, that's dinner appointment tonight 7.30 <laughs> tea off time tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> That's all in the front. <laughs> it's a good run. 
excellent run. Early call, set off. Yeah, early, early, didn't he? Yeah, early call. That was the key. And the thing is, the call is running to the danger end. So he recognises the, the danger in it. End of the over, it's 20... Whoa, no, they're going to get a run here now. They're going to get one. They're even thinking of getting a second, but one off that last ball when they shouldn't have. Two overs bowled. It's 22 for one. Yeah, the most circumstances, you don't mind the fielders throwing the ball at the stumps. It creates some real pressure out in the middle. But uh, when they do hit, you always have the, the challenge or the, the repercussion of it going into a gap and costing it. That's a spot to be, Wilco, under that shaded tree. Yep. With a nice glass of El Dorado. One day, <laughs> next time. Next time. Thank you. Parnell is going to have a second over here. First over went for 15. He's clearly feeling the heat. That first over from Parnell, he got his line. He just never got his line right. Um, unless he uh, convinced his skipper that he could get it right the second over, I'm a little surprised he's bowling the second one. Yeah, it's a tough one, isn't it, from a captaincy point of view? Do you back your, you know, one of your frontline bowlers to get it right that second over, or do you put him in the sin bin <laughs> and say, ever think about it? It's gone up. It's gone up. It's had a chance. Is that a chance? Oh, it should have been. Any one of two or three could have gone for that. Akil Hossein dropped it, and it looked as if Kane Williamson might have gone for it as well. But I think Hossein called for it. Yeah, it was a, an off-cutter delivery, so an off-pace delivery. Therefore, not quite getting the time, timing. Hossein getting in decent position. A difficult catch, but one... You'd hope, and you'd hope you'd be taken more often than not. Always a little bit easier when you're running back and the ball stays on the one side of you. So he's running away to his right and the ball is on the right side of him. So he should be sighting the ball comfortably. And he, I think he should have taken that. Yeah. It would have, we would have called it a good catch, yes. but it's a catch that should have been taken at this level. Yeah. You'd hope that to be taken eight times out of ten. Shot. That's been hit really hard, and it's gone for four. Seems to always happen, doesn't it? When there's a drop catch soon after... A boundaries hit from the batsman McCarthy on this occasion getting some nice timing down the ground beating mid off and mid off was wide two is the call and they'll get two comfortably eight from this over three gone it's 30 for one
Introducing New Control GX, the shampoo that reduces grey gradually. The more you shampoo, the less grey you have. Control GX from Just For Men. Borrow up to £10,000 over a period of up to five years with easy monthly payments at the UK's number one guarantor loan provider, amigoloans.co.uk. Representative 49.9% APR variable. Stouffer Press tastes so good because we're close to every part of the journey. From picking to pressing to pouring. 100% local home-pressed apples. Jamaica Talawas, 30 for 1, chasing 143 to win this match against the Barbados Tridents. After three overs, the uh, Tridents were 13. After three overs, the uh, Tridents were 13 for no wicket. Here's Ravi Rampal. Lendl Simmons, seen him make some uh, great contributions, certainly for the Mumbai Indians in the IPL. Here, boys. Come on, boys. He's going at the top of the order for the Talawas, and they've already lost Sangakara, who went first ball. 75 scores over 30. He's got a century. He's got uh, over 5,000 runs in his 20-over career, heading up towards 200 matches, an average a fraction short of 30. Well, his statistics reflect someone that's been consistent at the top of the order and every team likes to have you know players in their top four that are consistent so when they are contributing they're doing it on a regular basis so therefore the top order can you know always have a good strong base to launch in the back 10 overs so he's one of those players that will make those contributions and give you that strong base to launch from Sakib al hassan with the pads on No width from uh, Ravi Rampal. He's quite, I think he's quite aware that Lendl Simmons, when he gets a little bit of width, he's got a great bat swing, great arm swing. What have we got there? Is that a nice carib? I was going to say, it's a good arm swing. <laughs> and uh, quite a gentle put down in the end, wasn't it? It was, you know? Actually, they're not quite in sequence. Okay, now watch, come on, on the right. I think, see, I bet it goes. That's a right, terrific okay, now, action. Down. What an action now, that is. Now then. Come on, on the right. Oh. <laughs> Shot. McCarthy has got this away nicely. And uh, Shob Malik with the fielding. Shob Malik, that's a terrific piece of fielding from Shob Malik to save the boundary. Save the Save the boundary. Okay, Tom, talk us through this. Good action so far. Well, I just like the expression on his face to begin with. He's first he's smiling and now he's focusing. Well, I think it's probably smiling with the anticipation exactly of <laughs> the the flavour of the moment, the refreshment and the cleansing moment. It's a good start, you'd have to say, here by the Talawas. Yes, they've lost Kumar Sangakara, but their run rate is right up there. Run rate just above nine, so they're well and truly on track. There's bat on that, there's bat on it. You could hear it. That's why Kane Williamson knew that if they'd caught that, they would have got the catch. Come on, boys, they keep working, they keep working, that boys. He does get the ball to tail in. Once the ball starts swinging conventionally, Ravi Rampal does get the ball to tail in, and it targets the right-hander's front pad. A long way down there, McCarthy, but uh, there's also a little inside edge, I think, on this one. Maybe not. There was two noises, though. Definitely were. Good over from uh, Rampal. Four gone, it's 34 for one. It's good over from uh, Rampal. Four gone, it's 34 for one. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, a lot of experience with Ravi Rampal, so it's always good to have someone in the power play overs that bowls a couple, if not three overs, that has that experience to navigate you through that dangerous period. He's uh, bowled his two overs and only cost the 10 runs. He's been successful with the wicket. I think we're going to have a change of bowling now. So uh, Wayne Parnell has had his couple of overs. We're going to have another left Dharma in Wahab Riaz from Pakistan. He bowls with good pace. He's got good variations as well. Hutzman McCarthy on this occasion getting some nice timing down the ground, leading mid-off. And yeah, mid-off was wide. early parts of their spell offside this time from Simmons not four Hossein the fielder the one that went for four down fine leg it, it didn't pitch outside leg stump but it's it's almost middle the one that went down leg side there look look at that you can see leg stump yeah. And then it's so difficult then for the bowler to get over offside, and if you go too far, you get punished offside. Saw that amazing dual confrontation in the World Cup in 2015 between uh, Shane Watson, Watto, incurred the wrath of Wahab Riaz, it was a great mm. spell of fast bowling, wonderful, oh, defending, wasn't it, from yeah. Shane Watson? Yeah, I remember it very clearly, Adelaide, Adelaide Oval, yeah. atmosphere, you could cut it with a knife, it was brilliant. Mm. Well, we may have a, a repeat of uh, the Watson and Wahab Riaz head-to-head -head because Shane Watson is one of the key players down with uh, St Lucia Stars and uh, he'll be featuring at some stage and uh, and uh, you can guarantee that that'll be worth watching oh yeah because they'll both remember that moment like we do probably more <laughs> than what we do oh yeah and there's always a payback time isn't there you know it's just a, you know we've seen the book out today haven't we from uh, Mr Williams I just wonder when Williams has an off day, whether the batsman pulls the book out. <laughs> just jots down a few fours and sixes. <laughs> Join the dots. <laughs> Leg side flicked away for one. They're going to look for a second here. They won't get it. Smith's the fielder. Five gone. It's 41 for one. Wayne Parnell had a poor first over. Wahab Reyes hasn't started as well as he would have liked. So Akilo saying the left arm spinner comes on to replace Ravi Rampal. Scored some critical runs towards the back end of the innings. He's got a real desire, Aki Hussein, as, as a young man to, to further his cricketing career. He lives, breathes the game. Just understanding his background and where he's come from and how important these sorts of opportunities are for him. And if you're asking me, he'll let you know. 
This is what he dreams about. Bowling to a player that he, he, he would know very, fairly well from Trinidad and Tobago, Lendl Simmons. Bowling to a player that he, he, he would know very, fairly well from Trinidad and Tobago, Lendl Simmons. Player of the tournament a few CPLs ago and he, he won a piece of property in St. Kitts. Oh, that's big! Oh, goodness me, it's taken off! Sunshine Snacks, the power shot of the day. Well, such a good hit because the ball was tossed up. And just look how controlled he is, how still he is when he hits the ball. He loads up and he lets it go and gets such a good piece of it. He really is a, such a key batsman when he's hitting the ball like this. Smart, smart cricket. He can play in different modes, Lendl Simmons, and, and I was listening to a conversation before that he will sometimes, based on his career strike rate, very similar to his opening partner. Not, not true, really. He chooses Lendl Simmons the way that he wants to play early. He can be a serious dasher when he chooses to at the top of the innings. Last over of the power play as well. Work, Kelly, work, work. It's a better length from Akil Hussain rather than the one that was pumped down the ground. And that's exactly what they want to do as well. And there's so many fielders in that backward position that if he can keep targeting that leg stump line they've got to take that key risk which is what he tried to do the previous ball three dot balls to end the over 48 for one after six